Welcome back to Westwood Engineering. Today we're going to talk a little bit about tolerances. And for this exercise, we're going to go through and read a set of plans and figure out what the tolerance is and how much the total variation that is allowable for the part is. Now, prior to doing this, you should have watched the presentation 2.1.1a. Uh, that video and presentation is available up in the LMS, and you should have completed your guided notes. Reference those guided notes as you work through this if you have some questions. I'm going to help you to get started on this. So you've either got this as a paper copy from class or you've downloaded it and printed it and you're working on it. I'm going to do it online just so I can do the presentation easier. So when we look at our very first drawing here, what you're going to see is a series of letters that are dispersed around the drawing. And these reference to specific dimensions on the drawing. As an example, the dimension for A is this dot xx plus or minus 0 .00, 0 0.03. The dimension for B is this dot xxx plus or minus 0 .010. Those are distributed throughout each of the drawings as we go through. So let's deal with this first one, the letter A. And what I want to look at is the dimension type, the tolerance type. And remember we learned about our types. We've got a limit range, we've got a unilateral, and a bilateral. So this first one is a bilateral, but it's a special kind of bilateral. And that's kind of in the des written description. It is a general tolerance. And it is telling me any dimension on the part that does not have a specific tolerance should use this tolerance if it has two decimals or dot xx accuracy. So the maximum size that any dimension can vary would be plus 0 0.03, or 30 thousandths. The minimum it can vary is minus 0 0.03. Now this should be the dimension, which I'm going to go ahead and put in here as dot .xx plus 0 0.03 and dot .xx minus 0 0.03. So the total variance between my maximum and my minimum is going to be 0 0.03 minus a minus 0 0.03 or 0 0.060 inches. That's the total variation. B again will be a bilateral. It is again a general tolerance, except this time I use three decimal places. And because I do that, I have less total variation allowed, 0 0.010. And I should have put the trailing zeros up here. Apologize for that. I also have less total variation allowed, undersized, minus 0 0.010. My total variation now becomes 0 0.020. So that's pretty easy. You can go through and pick through these. Uh, you are going to notice uh, several different measures on here. And I'm going to pick one. Uh, let me just go ahead and keep moving on along with C. So C, you'll see that that has an upper and lower limit. And that, my friends, is a limit range. You'll notice that it doesn't have a specific target here. It just gives a window. And this is talking about, for C, is talking about the size of the hole. The maximum size it can be is 0.536. The minimum size is 0.531. The total variation is the difference between the maximum minus the minimum, or 0 0.005 inches. Now, you don't need to put inches in here because we've got a statement on the drawing that says everything's in inches right here. So don't get too crazy about that. You'll keep working your way through these. These go pretty darn fast as you work through it. So let's take a pause here and move on to the next exercise. You'll find this next exercise is a repeat of very similar uh, idea here. Uh, I've got a general tolerance down here. And then I've got some specific tolerances throughout the part. 
I'll just pick one of these off here and let's go ahead and do an, the, uh, the dimension A here. So what, the, what it asks you is white what type of tolerance this is, first of all. And you're going to see it only goes one direction. So this is called a unilateral. Now what that tolerance is describing is the size of the four holes. The maximum dimension it can be is 0.5 plus 0 0.003. So 0 0.503. The minimum size it can be is 0 0.500. So my total tolerance here is 0 0.003 the difference between the maximum and the minimum. So there's an example of a unilateral. Let's take a quick look at dimension B here. And B is talking about the size of the center hole. That is a bilateral tolerance. The maximum size would be 2.5 plus 0.002 or 2.502. The minimum size would be 2.5 minus 0 0.002, or 2.48. Sorry, it's 2.498. My total variation between the maximum and the minimum here is going to be 0 0.004. So that's an example of a bilateral. So, so far we've seen a limit range, unilateral, bilateral, and a general tolerance applied. Let's flip down to our last question here. So this question asks you to look at the rod, and you'll see the rod is 3 inches long. It's 0 0.525 minus 0 plus 0 0.005. So the biggest it could be is 0 0.530. And it's supposed to go through this hole. And that hole varies between 0.531 and 0.536. So the question here is what's the diameter variation of the rod? What's the tolerance for the rod length? Note that there's not a specific tolerance on that. So you're going to have to look in your general tolerances. And then I ask you to apply this and use the knowledge that you gained in class to tell me whether it's a clearance fit interference fit or transition fit. I want you to explain that answer. And then what is the allowance? Calculate that. So that's all you have to do for this exercise. I hope that helps you. Uh, we'll work through it in class. It'll take us about a period, so plan on spending about 45 minutes to an hour working on this. Uh, if you get stuck, bring your questions back to class. Thanks for watching.